Hey folks, Monster Matt here, and welcome back to Discourse. Now, we finished off the main story last time, as you guys saw, and I figured we can go back through and try different choices and try to get a better result. So, I'm not going to waste any time. This is trying to get me to do the Indie Island mini bonus story, and I will probably do that, but not yet. We're going to go through the main story once again and try to get a better run. Um, interestingly, this will describe your previous save. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Interestingly enough, this is actually the second, uh, first of two uh, series that are kind of going through a new start on the channel this week. Uh, the other being Dungeon of the Endless tomorrow, since uh, I have to get a new run going to see if I can get back down to the floors I reached before. Uh, and I think next week is looking like a boss fight week for Transistor and Hyperlight Drifter, actually, but you guys haven't seen that one yet. So we'll see how the rest of the week plays out. Now then. Ugh, my brain feels like I went through a coffee grinder. Yes, Rita, it sucks. Feels like I've been lying here for hours. All this crap on the beach. A plane crash? Yes, indeed. But I was, oh no. Alright, stay calm. You gotta stay calm. That's the, that's the key, that's the trick. Give me my frying pan. They're closing in on us! Well, that's Teddy. Yeah, I'll get to you in a second, guys. Can't believe this is real. Yeah, I mean, disaster. You kind of asked for it, lady. Sorry. Yeah, let's get a move on. Nothing on the beach to see, really. Let's check out the noise. Let's go investigate. Let's do it. Let's go. There's Steve and Teddy. Hey, guys. They're calling for backup! We're totally surrounded. Make sure you aim for their eyes! I'll scramble the chips in their brains! It doesn't even matter. We're done for. Steve! Someone else is approaching! He's probably here to feast on us, just like the crabs! What, you talking about me? You're totally clueless, aren't you, Teddy? Hey, lady. Now might be a good time to help us. Here's how they describe. How does he even happen? All right, I'm coming. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's help him out. Let's be proactive. Got my trusty metal detector on me, but they will definitely attack if I pull it out. That was not the right voice. Just get over here and help me! No, it's still not quite the right voice. What? No, come here. All right, well, I helped... Teddy last time. Let's help Steve this time. I think with the frying pan, scare crabs, but uh, had to scare them off. Uh, I think I, th I think I tried to scare them off last time. It didn't really work. So let's 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 attack them instead. Yeah. Oh wait, they're just getting angrier. Oh. Wow. So Steve gets hurt again. Wow. Sorry, man. Well, it sure got them to stop attacking me. Ouch. Man, those crabs are relentless. The legs are all torn up. This has just been a fantastic day. Alright, well, let's get back to camp. The others will want to meet. Yeah, um, I didn't catch your name. It's Rita. Wait, there are other survivors? Yeah, they're farther inland. I'm Steve, by the way. My name is Teddy! Alright, let's get going. Cool. Let's roll. What are you stopping for? Are you ready to head to camp? Yeah, let's go. We're good. Don't you think it's a little risky to take this stranger back? What if he's just a bunch of crabs in a human suit? You were an only child, weren't you, Teddy? No! My brother was human! I think we'll be fine. Let's go, Rita. Poor Steve. I tried to save him and he still got torn up. Oh, look at you guys. Look! Another survivor! What? I thought we were the only ones. Heavens to Betsy! Come have a seat. You must have been out for hours! Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I think so. Be positive, you know? That's good. None of us seem... I can't remember the voice I did for Garrett now. Shit. Um... That's good. None of us seem to have been injured in the crash. I think it's just my regular voice, but a little bit deeper. I don't know. What's your name? Rita. I'm Jolene. The lump over there with the mustache. That's my husband, George. Hi. Online, I'm known as Nebulord90. You can call me Garrett. That's way too deep. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All he's been doing is playing games on his stupid handheld video machine. Hey. Where are we? None of us are really sure. All we know is we're on an island. This island is pretty big. We have no clue what kind of stuff could be on the other side. 
Well, there's a mountain off in the distance, but it's a long hike away. We have no idea what's over there. We've started making the best of this here situation. I got this fire built and we got it started on some shelter. So far, all we've got for food is a pile of pretzels from off the plane. Here come the pigs. Pig, singular. I gotta do better with that one this time, too. Yes, Louise and sweet cream cheese! Oh no, those pretzels are our only food. Our only food, laddie! No, that's completely wrong. Oh darn, those are gonna be such a well balanced meal for us. What if there are more of those, those pig monsters out there? Rita, you come with George and me. Let's get this ball. Um, I don't think that's the best idea. I don't think we have weapons to hunt them. Man, Georgie has his old fishing pole. He can thwap with that. And I suppose you're going to throw that bulky camera of yours at them. Well, I'll do what needs to be done. We need to stay here to send the fuse that we have left. Give me now, Georgie. We don't have time for this, and I don't trust these hoodlums. Rita, are you ready? Let's go. Um, um. I mean, if I just let them go and do it themselves, they might do better than if I go along. But at the same time, uh, there are decisions to be made, and uh, staying in protection would possibly make sure that we don't lose the rest of what we have, which was which was something that happened the last time. Let's try staying and protecting what we have, because we do have two now, and the thing, the thing only ran off with one. Last time we lost, like, everything. Whereas if we managed to knock the pig out, we might get even... Well, I don't think, I don't, I don't think that was an option. Huh. Well. Shoot. Let's try playing it safe this time. We should stay here. Stay here. So we should stay here, protect what we have left, not run out into the desert. I think that they're missing a few words there. Bam! Bam! Is someone else up for it? Rita's probably right. We should stay here. Good grape gravy! You gotta be kidding me! Cowards! Let's go, George! Did you guys hear something just now? I don't think so, Teddy. You're just paranoid. I bet he gets that a lot. We got food and a fire here. We could definitely attract some wildlife. Speak of the devil. No time to lose! We need a plan to defend our food! We can't afford to lose it! I got this. Stay on your toes. Somebody get in there. Forget the food. Let's hide. I got this. I'm gonna try to watch your back, man. Now, I'm not feeling so great after that battle with the crabs, but I guess I have to try. Positions, everyone! Here they come! I gotta figure out a, a better voice for these two, for uh, Steve and Garrett, because they're they're too similar. I'll be fighting with this frying pan. What have you guys got? Well, I've got this stapler, but I'd hardly call that a weapon. My trusty metal detector can, can, can give a good beating. Um, stand your ground. Look out, Rita! Ugh, ouch! What the heck was that, Garrett? Um, I thought I could help. That's even closer to Steve's voice. Damn it! You fought up the war! Looks like the other ones are leaving too! Yay, we win! I don't know if I would call that a win, Garrett. I wanted to protect you. I don't need protecting. Thanks for trying. Just worry about yourself. I mean, this one's definitely true. I, I, I don't need protecting. I have a frying pan, but like, I, I good for morale too, I guess. So, I don't bloody know. Um, it, it is good that everyone take, look after themselves a little bit on the island, though. Um, thanks for trying, I guess. I don't know. Garrett, that probably wasn't the right thing to do, but I appreciate the appreciate the thought behind it. Yeah, that's, that's the way to put it. Be quiet a second, I heard something. Throw something at it. Oh, these two. No, no, it's just us. So where's the boar? You abandoned us. Welcome back. Uh, let's not be confrontational. That's like extra confrontational. Let, let, let's just let's just let's just play it good. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. I'm glad you made it. Well, I'm not. We could have been killed here. You didn't even bring back the boar. Well, if I had some help from y'all, maybe it would have gone differently. You're not you're not making a great first impression, Jolene. You need to stop fighting. We should get some rest, Jolene. You screwed up. We need to stop fighting, guys. Can't fight each other like this. Maybe we should all get just get some rest. I think this is gonna be a long night. We need to protect these pretzels. 
You shouldn't just leave them out in the open. Your solution being... Oh, there's a box. Oh, like, like some, some uh, luggage. That's cool. This also didn't catch fire or something. There. That should help. Anyway, we set up a bit of a shelter early this morning. Rita, why don't you grab a torch from that fire and let's get some sleep. Can do, Steve. Oh, we just... So we should keep our pencils safe until we need them. Yeah, well, why didn't you do it in the first place, guys? It was, like, right there next to you. Wow, you guys actually put together a pretty decent shelter, all things considered. This is our home for now until we get rescued. Enough time to talk to, to, talk to, to a few people. Yeah, okay. Um, let's talk to... Garrett, sure. You've never been on an adventure like this before. Virtual reality is pretty advanced these days. It doesn't hold a torch to these past hours. Can't exactly emulate starvation or dying. And we're probably gonna die out here. No extra love to help us out. We're not gonna die, man. We'll be fine. Man, it sure was crazy fighting off those boars. Those things are definitely not to be messed with. Normally, boars are one of the easiest enemies in games. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm actually a first level warrior! Yeah, that was pretty intense. Mr. Lane had and bailed. We're gonna need to learn to stick together. He scares me. Jolene seems to be pretty sure about what she does. I think I need to learn to work with her. This adventure is hard, that's for sure. Well, time to, regain, time to regenerate my hit points. Good night. Night, dude. Um, I can talk to you last time. Let's talk, let's talk, 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 talk to Jolene, though. This is gonna be like the time George and I went camping on the beaches in South America. Sounds like an adventure. All the stories I could tell. Spent many nights to get under the stars like this. Let's see next to each other. Uh, so, oh, that's right. I I talked to her uh, like this last time. She's, she's going to tell us about her, her husband's snoring habit. Every day is going to be long. At least while we're out here. This is definitely going to be the most interesting vacation yet. It's a pretty lighthearted attitude considering the situation. Well, I always brought up to always look on the bright side, darling. I guess that's a good thing. Boy, I'm feeling hungry. Sure would have been nice if we could have roosted some of that boar. That'd be something easier than just hunting boars anyway. It's proven to be pretty dangerous. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Good idea. Uh, one more chat. Oh, that's right. It's three, not two. Whoops. I think I talked to George last time. Let's talk to one of these guys. How you doing, Steve? Finding you on the beach was a surprise. We were pretty lucky you were there, I guess. Yeah, it was oddly, it was oddly disorienting to wake up to. Yeah. Teddy was looking to find some supplies on the beach. All we found was that horde of crabs. And me. Well, yeah. You may have been better off without this group, though. We don't bring a whole lot to the table. I disagree. I do. Pretty decent team. Haha, uh -huh. team. You sound like my boss. Groups have never paid off in my experience. Oh, come on now. Well, it's not all that bad. It isn't all that good either. No, Steve. You're still depressed. Sleepy times. It's sleepy times. You look very comfortable. How to serve for the night. That's right. Gotta get some shut eye. Let on down. A2. Huh, it looks like we actually made it through the first night alive. Okay, like, if if, if I try to mimic, like, the, the tone of the actual, like, verbals they give, I'm not sure. Like, Steve's is, is higher pitched than, than I would have thought. Which is weird. Yay. I'm ready to get some things done today. I don't think you should be doing anything today. What? What do you mean? All you did yesterday was make things more difficult by leaving. Well, I'm gonna help y'all. You might need me. Fine, if you insist. I've got a headache already without having to argue with you. Maybe someone planted something in your brain while you were asleep. Which one of you was it? Speak up. I suspect Garrett. Huh? Why me? Um, no, that's 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 George's voice. All right, guys. I think I just need some coffee. Caffeine withdrawal. Makes me feel like I'm in college again. I think something usually helps. Not salt water. I'm 
gonna go check the wreckage for supplies. Maybe my string of bad luck will end. Who knows? There might be some water for, from the plane as well. We need to signal for uh, we need to signal for help if we ever plan on being saved. All right, I need some sort of a signal. Let's, let's just put the crash site and some water. I think I, I think I went find, uh, looking for water last time, and then I did the signal on a different day. I think water is a higher priority than. Mm. Huh. I wonder if, if anything will go better if if we do uh, prioritize the signal. Probably not, but I'm curious. Let's try it. Teddy's right. We need to signal for passing planes and ships. Thank you. Maybe I'm not the only sane one here. Well, I think maybe staying alive is a little more important. Yeah, honestly, me too. But and then you guys can go look for drinkable water. What? Why us? Garen hasn't done anything yet. Oh yeah. Oh, stop whining. It won't be that hard to look around the island. This is not a solo task. There is no way I can get the quest reward alone. Take George with you. He's the best help you can find. Just go, Garrett. You'll be fine. All right. Do your thing then, guys. All right. Just putting in teams of two. Oh, that's uh, not bad, actually. All right. Just we're doing the signal this time. Now, is anyone ever going to find us out here? I mean, we could just try yelling really loud. I don't really think that was going to work, Rita. No, I was being... Never mind. Oh, moving around. We need to find a way to connect with the outside world. What if we write something in the sand? Maybe we can get the attention of boats or planes. If we use driftwood to make a signal, it won't wash away as quickly with, it, with the tide. Should I go looking for driftwood? Yeah! You go searching for the wooden debris! Yeah, alright, we did this one before, but it's still important. People on the plane, yeah, everyone's dead. It sucks. Lots of us. Maybe should we pull coconuts or a banana or something. The real life is much less forgiving. Who would have thought? Yeah. There's the sticks. Here, have sticks. Drop them off near you. Gotcha. Rating? Oh, that's right, the, the, the crazy government test, yeah. No offense, Teddy, but I've already had this conversation with you, and I remember it well enough to not have to do it again. We are not being judged, although it would be interesting if one of the alternate endings was that we were on some kind of weird government island test site or something. I don't find it very likely, but you never know, I guess. Ah, ah, a landmine! Nope, it's more sand. Yeah, buddy, dude, just calm down, please. I need a run button. I need a run button so badly. Fish, fish pee in there, dude. What? Oh no, it's Disky. Forgot about him. I mean, I can kind of see what 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 the game devs were trying to do with Disky, like the whole like, oh, it's Wilson. But like, you just find him on the beach and they instantly attach to him. It's a little too sudden. So I don't know. Like I. I don't really feel any attention towards him as the player, which I think is more or less what I'm trying to say. The disc was falling out of the plane all alone and scared. Ants the face of somebody who's been through some serious stuff. Maybe we can keep him. Oh, we can take care of each other. Yeah, see, like, you see, you see what I mean? Like, they pick up a random piece of garbage on the, on the beach and they immediately, like, start personalizing it, like, giving it, uh, uh like, um, giving it humanizing qualities like emotions and feelings and it's like you, you just picked this up off the beach like did you all come to the island already a little bit you know off your rockers or or what I mean I talk to my you know random shit around my room all the time but like it's not the same thing uh, I've been over two years would better being a barista. Nobody spends that much time alone in a basement without doing something villainous. I suppose. Yeah, that's right. He, he suspects Garrett of being uh, the inside agent or whatever. Let's see how things panned out today. We have water. We have successfully created an SOS signal on the beach. By my calculations, we should be saved in the next hour or two. Uh, I don't think your calculations are based in reality, buddy. <coughs> Did you spell it right? Are you suggesting that I'm unintelligent, Steve? Okay, we don't need to fight about this. No, no, no. Alright, what have you got to say then, Rita? We also notice a light in the distance off the shore. 
It's too far to swim, but maybe, but maybe, bleh, but maybe we could build something to get out there. We have, that's that's how we escaped last time. We uh, built a raft, got, got to the buoy. It, it penned out okay, but most of us died doing it, so... Well, it's certainly good knowledge to have! That's pretty much it. Actually, we also found this disc. Kinda look, it kind of looks like it has a face on it. I mean, vaguely. <laughs> oh my gosh! Let's name him Disky. I told you that the name was <laughs> the name was unoriginal Teddy. Right, we're going crazy. Yep, I'm with you, Steve. This is why you don't have friends, Steve. Hey. Oh right, my bad. I forgot to make them up. All right, that's enough. What did you guys find, Steve? Actually, I think we found something, but we need some help getting to it. A lot of that wreckage was too heavy to lift. The more people, the better. That's for sure. Sounds like we had a pretty useless day. No. Yeah, well, do you find water, Garrett? Um, well, I spent most of the day lost. Are you, ser are, are you serious? How? Wasn't George with you? He thought he knew where he was going. We got a little, uh, separated. All the plants look the same. Let's get some shit out. We can look into it tomorrow. So basically, whichever group I don't go with, or the two groups I don't go with, don't get anything done. Like, there has to be some kind of a solution where at least one of the other groups actually does something useful. Uh. I have no idea who to talk to. Another wreckage. I mean, George can do it. He worked on a farm. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna go sleep it off. Wow, that was fast. What about, what about, what about, what about you? So you and Jolene travel a lot? Oh yeah, she loves travel. Only her? Oh, well, I didn't mean... I really don't mind it. I do miss the safety of home when we were gone. I do it for Jolene, though. We love each other. Well, yes, yes we do. Presentation? Oh, I don't know. Things have been different lately. Uh, so, not my business, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You can figure it out. A great couple. Sure hope so. Sure it's nothing. Well, I'm just being a little paranoid. Maybe getting stuck on this island will be good for us. We can have a simple life away from everything for a little while. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you'll figure it out, guys. Maybe you're right. Phew, I need me some rest. Have a good night, Rita. For sure. And you, Nebulord. It's... Sucks that we weren't able to get that water. Yeah, we're gonna need to, we're gonna figure that one out soon. I just hope that I don't get kicked out of the guild for this. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. I just I have to get off this island. We all want off, Garrett. You think the rest of us don't want to get out of here? No, we don't understand. I can't afford to be stuck on this island right now. What what do you mean? I can't even complete a simple fetch quest for water. What if that means I'm gonna fail my IRL quest because I'm stuck on this island. What are you talking about? This is real life. What quest is so urgent that you can't do it later? Without my help, all of my friends will be homeless. Are you paying rent for them? What? Are you paying rent for them or something? You can say that. They're gonna lose their home if, if, if I don't finish my quest. Let's just make sure we get off this island then. Thanks, Rita. Okie dokie. I don't remember anything about that from, from, from the last run, so I'll have to talk to Garrett more about that one. And that is the end of our second day on the island. It's probably a good place to leave off for now. Day three. Yes, indeed. All right. So, um, yeah, hopefully hopefully I'm doing a better job so far. It's not really... I, I, it's kind of hard to tell right now. Uh, I prioritized getting rescued, which has long-term payoff, I'm hoping, but some short-term drawbacks, like not having water immediately which is going to be a bit of a problem. Hopefully we get that solved on this day. But hopefully you guys are enjoying watching the series still and hope and seeing where I can get this thing to go. Because, I, I mean, I, I just really want to find some sort of way to, to finish this out with everyone being alive. And I'm probably aiming a little too high. I'm not even sure if it's possible. But I want to... I, I just want to try it. I do. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Monster Matt out.